everyone. Happy Tuesday. I don't usually record on a Monday unless I'm doing something. But I was just doing like washing and that's usually my day off. That's usually the... Sometimes it's usually when I upload if I've edited a vlog. The skin's not looking great at the moment. Um, so it's quarter to 11, I'm going to go and get dressed soon, even though I'm not feeling great, so I'll probably just put some um, joggers and a t-shirt on, I think. I've got a t-shirt on at the moment, so I'll put this on this morning, because I had like a vest up on, I was a bit chilly, I've got shorts on, so I'll probably just put my joggers on the desk, because bit chilly i've got the back door open for a rock do that half my nails have fell off look so i need to redo my nails but um i had to get up at half two in the night or early this morning shall i say i was in absolute agony um i had a fibro flare up and i was just in so much pain and i am still now i've taken my painkillers and I think anyone that's got it, when you take your painkillers, you, it sort of helps, but you can still tell it's there, if you know what I mean. I, just, I don't know if that makes sense to people. But I just still feel achy. I feel really, really tired because I didn't then fall asleep till about half four. And I was up waking Matt up at half six, but he's not having a great day either, so... I don't think he's going to start work until this afternoon. Um, I was meant to go and send a vintage parcel yesterday, so I'm behind on that. I'm going to have to message him and apologise um, and go and send that today because I've got the... Matty printed off the um, address label for me at work yesterday. So I've got to do that. So I'll probably do that this afternoon, I think. I'm going to let myself rest this morning. I had um, a bowl of shreddies this morning, um, but um, I think that was that was that was about half six when I tried to wake Matty up. So yeah, it's ten to eleven now. So I'm probably going to have some brunch. So have an, have like an early lunch. So I think I might have some scrambled egg on toast. But I just wanted to update you. I've just weighed myself because. It's a week since I first weighed myself. Started weighing on a Tuesday, so I thought I'll stick to the Tuesday. Um, so I was 14 stone one. I'm now 13 stone 12. So it was 13 stone one and a half or, or something like that. And now I'm 13 stone, just over 13 stone 12. So that's about three pounds, isn't it? So I'm pretty chuffed with that because you know, I've, I've still had some like snacky bits over the weekend. I had a piece of, two pieces of KFC chicken. And I just, I thought, no, I won't have any. Matthew ordered a bucket and then when it came, he was like, oh, go on, it's, you know, it's chicken. So I peeled most of the skin off it and just tried to eat the chicken. I did, I did have a little bit of skin. I'm not gonna lie to you. But yeah, I just, I thought I'm not going to have lost anything now, but I think that's pretty good, isn't it? I'm back into the 13s again, so I am chuffed with that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be doing a bit of walking later anyway, because I've got to walk up to um, the shop to post this parcel. And it's all uphill, obviously to get to downhill to come back. But yeah, so I'll walk to my mum's first and then I'll go from my mum's to the shop. I mean, I don't expect them to, to walk with me if they don't want to. I'll probably leave Rocky there. But if they want to walk up with me and watch Rocky outside the shop, then we'll probably do that if they want to do that. But my mum does work all day on a Tuesday, so she'll only get a lunch break. So I'll just help see how I feel after I've, I've eaten and... Um, if I'm up for walking up there, then I'll get I'll get dressed properly. I'll probably just wait until I've eaten now to, to see whether I'm going to get properly dressed or not. 
Um, yeah, not having a great start to the day. Just feeling a bit, bit meh, bit sluggish and I need some motivation, I need some energy. Um, I just don't want to overdo it because I don't want another flare up later and if I overdo it I will definitely get flare up later because I always do. So you can tell by my voice, I'm tired. Oh, I've been awake for hours now but still, I'm still really tired. I've still got this microphone here. I've tested it out a few times. I don't know where the actual microphone bit's gone but I've got all the packaging and the muffler bit here. I think I'm going to send it back. I think, I really do think it was a waste of money. I don't think it works that well. I've tried testing it and I sound just as good without it on the mic. So, yeah, I'm going to return it. So I might package that up and see if I can return it from the same shop that I'm taking these other parcels. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to get on and make my eggs now. Um, and then I will catch up with you a bit later. Oh, this is me right now. This is the afternoon. Look at my nails. They look shocking, don't they? So now I've got a headache and I feel sick. So I'm really sorry that this is um, a bit of a, a downer um, vlog. Because I'm usually really like upbeat and chirpy. But I thought I may as well still vlog and, and actually show you what I'm like on on these sort of days. Because I think I have before. I've had bits where I've, I've been feeling down. But um, I've just been um, having a chat with Sam from the Fighting Foul Tower. We've been WhatsApping each other. And um, yeah, I've just said it's like a, it's like a vicious cycle because woke up in the night with pain, got up, took my painkillers. My painkillers make me drowsy, but then some of them sort of they're really strange because they make you sort of drowsy but can't really get to sleep. It's really weird. So I finally got to sleep at about half four. Then I have to get up to get my feet up for work. Plus he didn't feel great today, so he, he's not gone in today. Um, he's slept most of the day because he didn't really sleep last night. Um, yeah, now I'm just getting a headache and I feel pretty sick because I haven't eaten since, um, I think it was about half 11 when I had some egg on toast. And now it is four o'clock. So five hours I haven't eaten anything for. I just put the kettle on to make myself a cup of tea. That's just boiled, so I'm going to do that. And it's getting me down with looking how shit I look at the moment. I'm so sorry for my language, but I look shocking. Um, do you know what I thought of doing? I might just go and... I'm going to put you on the side while I make my cup of tea. And um, I'll have a chat with you. So I'm going to try out that cream, you know, that I got from Shein. Probably try out the eyebrow pencil as well. Like a bit of the lippy on. See if, see if that makes a difference. Let's go and see. So, Rocky is under the table, biting his blankie. That's what he likes doing. I'm just gonna turn this washing machine off. There we go. All right, let's prop you up there. Look, I've got a washing up in the sink. I could just stick it in the dishwasher, but I can't even bother to do that because that means I have to empty the dishwasher from last night's stuff. Well, that's that slight like stuff from after I put the dishwasher on last night. Glasses and cups and things, and then the pan and plate from today. So there we go. We've got some bits then from here. Just gonna have a quick look if there's anything in my glossy box that can whack on my face. I forgot what I've got. Oh yeah, we could put a bit of the blusher on, couldn't we? Try that out. Um, I think I want to use them um, eye mask later. There's no point doing them now. I'm gonna put that stuff on my face. This um, salicylic acid 
pH exfoliating concentrate balance me um, apply to beauty pad gently wipe over a cleansed dry skin avoiding to avoiding the delicate eye area no rinse and required I'll wrap back a bit of that on now then give that a whirl and I forgot to show you I've got a mirror it came with a mirror as well there's some tea bags those after all that moaning so what I'm going to do, I'm going to make my tea first. I'll turn you around so you can see me making me tea. Uh, I'm just feeling tired, a bit fed up. Maybe I should have gone for a walk today, but I don't like taking Rocky out when it's too warm and it's been really sunny and warm today. And, you know, I live in quite built up city so there's like concrete pavements everywhere so these little pores have got a bit hot i think so i think i might take that later when the when the sun goes down it's nice and cool but he's been suffering a bit today i did get him a um a cool mat um but he didn't seem to get on with it at the moment i think when it's really hot he'll want to use it I'll try him with that when it's really hot. Oh, sorry about that. Marcus came in and we've just been chatting for the last half an hour. So my tea's nearly gone. I've got a ring around my cup. You know where I've been having cups of tea all day? I keep using the same cup. But I was going to do this, weren't I? Because Marcus has gone to get in the shower now. So you might hear the boiler because it's literally next to my camera, my phone. So I'm gonna put some of this on. Let me put the lid back on so you can see the she glam. See my phone, hi. Yeah, she glam. It's called Birthday Skin Primer Pigment Perfector. So actually I was gonna use this first, weren't I? The Balance Me Exfoliating stuff just gonna have to use a bit of kitchen roll because i haven't got any um i don't think i've got any pants down here i've done a um a little gift box for sam from the Fal the fighting falter i don't know if anybody watches her channel if you don't go over and have a look because she's absolutely lovely um, so yeah, as you all know, if you, um, are one of my lovely viewers, I love buying people gifts. Um, and I've had these things that I bought, bought for a while, so I thought, I'm going to get them sent off now. Um, let me shut this door. So, yeah, I've done a, um... I had two boxes, but I had to take one of the items out of the box because I literally couldn't get it in the package and I didn't want to do two parcels. So I've done one big box, bubble wrap and everything. And then I've put the other one in like some tissue paper. So I'm going to get that sent off tomorrow. So yeah, I've used that balance me stuff. Now I'm going to go in with the, the cream, the primer stuff. That was quite strong. So, oh, I think I'll put two minutes on. <laughs> oh, look at that, it's changing colour. I've definitely got too much on. I just want to cover my imperfections on my feet. So, let me just do the one side a minute. Come out there. Oh. Yeah, I'm just gonna do the one side and see what it looks like. And this is my worst side. This is like where I've got all the my blemishes at the moment. I've got a few on that side, but this is the worst. So I've been picking my skin as I do. 
as I do. I'm looking in the viewfinder and I could be looking in this mirror that I've just told you about. So, I'm actually looking at scabby down there, but I don't think that looks too bad. It's sort of covered a lot of the um, the area. Let's try this side. So are you know? Well, I don't look great still, but I look better than I did before. That ain't too bad. That is not too bad. Oh, that's alright, I quite like that. <laughs> I just rubbed it in my hair. <laughs> I don't want nail. That is not too bad. That has covered up a lot of the blemish areas. I think that's alright, you know. That is not bad. I like that. Right. What are we going to do next? I don't think I've got an eyebrow brush down here. Just found a knit comb in my drawer. That is old. I think that the last time Izzy had knit, she was probably year four. I don't think she had them in year five. So year four, she would have been eight, seven or eight. Probably eight. So I'm not finding anything. So simple <laughs> voice. This is like exfoliate thing. Oh my god, look. That is hilarious. Improvising because I can't be asked to go upstairs and Matthew's asleep anyway, I don't wake him up. But just to push my hairs up, that's alright, you know, that's alright. Right. So let's go in with the um the felt pen bit first. See if I do some little fine hairs. Oh, my contact lens moved. I think that song's out. Now that my old house, I've just been like that. <laughs> Yeah, I think that was that when I was at, living at my old place and I've lived here for eight years. Mm. I'm going to put some of this on now that I've got in the glossy box. The Wear Blushing Creamy Blush Dip by Sophia and Mabel. This is after I sagged it off. Now, I'm liking it. So it looks like a lot. Oh, it smells good as well. It smells like... It smells like toffee or chocolate or something. It's quite a nice colour and it's got like a little a bit of a goldy sheen in it. So... Put that on that. And a bit there 
them like that. There's my nose, then my head, and this one my lips. Does it say you can use on your lips actually? A lot of these usually do, don't they? Flush your colour to your cheeks. There we go, I look like a clown now. gonna look really strange without mascara on i watched um, a video there's um, a girl called tara I'll, i'm gonna put her channel on on the screen just in case you don't follow her because she's absolutely lovely and um i really do think we'd get on she's quite similar to me um but she i think she went out to the shops and she didn't oh she's absolutely amazing at makeup she's got beautiful skin her skin is flawless flawless she's a couple of years older than me but i don't matter but she beautiful girl um yeah she went to the shop so she forgot to put mascara on okay oh i should have got me bloody teeth i'm doing it again Oh, it's a nice matte one and it's got like glittery bits in it. I look like Let me just put a little bit more of this one down here. So I've literally just picked up me chin. It smells quite nice when you rub it in. It smells like oranges. It smells quite zesty. I've literally got the cream all over it. I need to give it a wipe, but let's pop a little bit. This eyes. Just trying to brighten myself up a little bit. And I'm going to use this as a little eyeliner just to make my eyes look a bit more awake. Just rubbing it on my eyelashes like that. See if I can um, make them look a bit better. Going out. Yeah, it's waiting for my mate to finish it up. You know what the best feeling is? What? Yeah, I mean, you've had people in the back of your car, yeah? And you just clean it in the back, and there's no rubbish, but there's just change everywhere. <laughs> I just checked the back of my car, then found two quid. Naughty. It's the rules, though, ain't it? Is you it? If you change in my car, then it's one. I suppose, yeah, you're supposed to not going to know. They're not going to know who dropped it, are they? to uh, drop the other day. He's yeah. actually doing it. Yeah. Not sure. Come here. So, that isn't bad for improvising, I don't think, anyway. I mean, I look a bit ill. I don't look myself, but, you know, I'm looking a bit pale now. It has made me go a little bit paler than I normally look, but it's you know blends into my skin tone so um so i use my eyebrow pencil actually on a little bit of my lashes 
let them flick out a bit a little bit on the top of my eye and the actual pencil bit just in my waterline so i do look a bit more alive now i must admit i'm gonna whack all this stuff in this little glossy box but yeah i don't think that turned out too bad just those little things it's crazy what you can do and this lipstick is pretty cute i have to come back in anyway um. to get the country uh, religion jacket go for 40 quid at um tk maxx it's like a 160 pound jacket good isn't it it's good, but you got to search for everything, and this is the only true religion thing there. Was it? Yeah. Uh, come here, you. Here. <sighs> I don't feel good. I really don't feel good. I think I've overdone it now. I didn't need to record today. Sometimes it makes me feel better speaking to the camera. I do feel like better in myself, but I just feel a bit ill. I want to make a chili. I think I'm going to do that now, actually. Do you want to watch me? Do you want to see what I do? It's the one you know do for this. I'm going to put in my taco mixed beans. Oh, battery's running low. Taco mixed beans in tomato sauce. Come with that. Um, so chunky chopped tomatoes um what else do i need i need some cumin i hope i've got more than that oh i actually have some of this um taco seasoning i want to whack that in as well so i want to use it up um that i got from tesco you know when i did my nachos oh yeah there we go. So I've got cumin. Um, I also use um, some chilli powder. I've got the hot chilli powder because we like it a bit spicy. Um, oh my god, I've got another cumin now that's not open. Don't need that yet. Uh, where's my paprika? Oh, there we go. Hot smoked paprika. I'm just going to see if I've got the normal smoked as well, because I'm not sure if I want to add that one. Yeah, there we go. I'm just going to add the normal smoked paprika instead of the hot smoke, because that can be quite fiery. And if we're already putting in the hot chilli powder, I don't want it to be too fiery. Um, I think I actually bought some chilies that are not that, um, not overly spicy. So, I'm just going to put them in for flavour and for colour. Um, a chicken stock part. I always put a chicken part in with my chilli. Um, what else do we need? I think that's it for that. Um, I think I might add in the Worcester sauce as well. Normally add a little bit of that in. Right, I'm just going to be mince. Right. I've got all my ingredients. I've got my lean beef steak mints, 50, sorry, 500 grams, celery, carrots, and onion are the base. And then I've got some red and green pepper, so I'll put one of each of them in there as well. So get my little chopping board because I like to use this chopping board for excuse me I like to use this chopping board for my onions and things because it's a lot easier to pick it up and pop it into the pan I'm going to be using my big dish to make a, a decent sized chilli pop that light a bit more light put away these extra bits that came out um i'm gonna empty my food bin because i haven't emptied it for a while so just bear with right me. change that give it a bit of a wipe down and put some like, anti-back spray on it just 
to freshen it up a bit. I put some anti back, not anti back spray, disinfectant spray, this Dassel one. Put some anti back on my hands, but when I'm cutting onions, we always use my gloves. I didn't get them chillies. Let me see if I've got them chillies. Here I've got some. Some red and green ones. So let's get started. Here is I want to top up one celery stick, one carrot, and the onion. And I'm gonna put some that's empty. Let's get the new olive oil out. Got a new olive oil, so I'm gonna pop that in with the olive oil and just let that um simmer for a bit. Just ignore the dog. Similar way together. Brown off the onions a bit. I'll add the mints. And open that. I'm going to chop down the peppers. There's only one pepper that's alright, so I'm going to clean it. So use corn mints with this or you can just stick with just the beans if you don't want to use either. So what can I put this in? I'll probably drain it out and then get rid of the the stuff and whack it back in again. Let me just get a bowl. They're Jamie Oliver sets and I've got these little ones as well which I've got lemons in. 
on the side. Sometimes put eggs in that one as well, but this week for some reason, I don't know why. So yeah, I'm just gonna drain the mints out, the liquid. Get rid of this. Back in a moo. as an oxo cube and the chicken stock. Some granulated garlic. Tiny bit of salt. I'm working this taco mix. So I've got about just under half a pack left. Some I've got these here, I've got the cup sizes and I've got the different spoons. So I'm gonna add this is a teaspoon. I'm gonna add one, two a little bit hot chilli powder I'll add all of that there's not much left in it so that's about two teaspoons and then soap paprika I'm gonna have one of them on the heat. Like a couple of bits of the Worcester sauce. And tin of chunky hot tomato. A really good stir. Okay. And because I've got the stock in there, I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of water. That is looking delicious. Doesn't that look good? So I'm gonna let that bubble away now. It's 10 to six, we, we tend to have our dinner usually about seven, half seven. So I'm literally just gonna let it simmer away, um, do its thing. Not on a really high heat, just on a sort of medium heat and I'll I'll come and stir it now and again. Um, and then I might turn it down for say the last half an hour. 
Um, I'm just going to do some basmati rice with it. Um, so I'll put that on. I'll put that on when the last 15 minutes of it bubbling away. Um, and we've also got some tortilla chips um, to have with it as well. But I don't think I'm going to have them. Um, might make some guacamole. Um, have already done that on my um, vlog before. If you want to go and have a look back at the, I think it was like the Tesco one where we did the nachos. I'll put it just up here so you can um, you can see what it looks like. And um, yeah, you go back and have a look at that one. You can see how Matthew made the guacamole. I think that's how what we're going to have with it. Um, but I will be making it today. And I think that's it. Yeah. So um, I'll try and insert a picture or a video of when it's done. But I'm done with cooking now. I'm going to tidy up. And I'm going to go and probably start editing this one for today. Pop the telly on. Maybe have another cup of tea and just chill out till, till I need to put the rice on. So I will see you all later. There we go. Uh, I've got chili with mints and beans and peppers and yumminess, guacamole, rice, and there's my one. And then we've got some lightly salted tortilla chips.